Hi, Laura Pollock back again with a, hopefully a very short video of how I fix my painting. Because I've had some bad experiences during shipping, I feel this is really important. In the beginning, I was a complete purist. I would never fix a painting because it would darken it. And indeed, because I didn't know what I was doing, I would get splatters and dark areas. Um, in the meantime, what I've done is I've learned a technique from countless others who are smarter than me, and I would like to show that to you as to how you can spray a painting. It will not perfectly, not totally fix it, but it'll protect it somewhat during shipment to a client, a gallery, or a show. Follow along. Thanks. Bye-bye. I use Spectrafix when I actually want an area to get darker, get the tooth back, and be able to rework it. As of late, I've been using the Krylon Fine Art Fixative because it does not splatter, it doesn't clog quite as much, it is significantly less expensive. It was recommended by Marla Baguetta. And if I do have a clog and I have to throw away a quarter can, I don't feel quite so bad. Well, I'm back with you all. I'm outside because you don't ever really want to spray inside. The fumes are not good for you and you want to dissipate those uh, droplets so you're not breathing them in. The first thing that I want to do is show you that I'm going to smack this painting really hard to get extra pastel off of it to begin with and then spank it from the back. Anything that shouldn't be there will fall off and you can see it on the cardboard that I've laid out. I use this spray these days. Be sure to shake it, check the wind and see which way it's going. I lay it directly on the ground and from a standing position I might bend over a little bit depending on how the wind is blowing but then I will almost from the standing position just spray like a fine mist of rain coming down. Many times I will test it by spraying it upside down to clear the valve but then I just let it go and I have found that from this distance it will not darken my painting. I let it dry and if I'm really concerned about it I might shake some more and then go ahead and do another and this one's already clogging a little bit and I'll do another spray. There we go. I'm checking the wind so that I'm compensating for it. And that's really all there is to it. It won't protect it 100%, but it sure beats having it all fall off. Okay, that's it.